Hi there. This might be an odd one, um, but I had a question about using uh, Revit Architecture to do interiors work when the interiors firm is separate from uh, the architecture firm doing the building design. And the, the issue that they face when they do layouts of equipment and uh, other sorts of interior design stuff that might want to be scheduled, and specifically, the, in this case, casework and other equipment. Um, and it, within the same project context, this equipment is going to be able to know what room it's in, but when we're dealing with linked files, it doesn't know that. So a copy monitor, unfortunately, doesn't help us because it doesn't support rooms, even though a copy monitor works between Revit projects regardless of the version of the software we're using. <coughs> so the crazy workaround in my blog post is that we'd use Revit MEP for that because Revit MEP does support, interestingly enough, this notion of saying uh, use spaces. And if I create spaces, then I can place spaces automatically wherever it finds rooms in the linked file. Uh, so it's a handy tool there from the Revit MEP side to make the process of creating spaces, which are essentially rooms on steroids, if you will. So this space object, if I look at its properties, actually knows what room name and number is in the architectural model. And notice there's a difference here, room one and, and at one point or another during the life of a project these things update every now and then. So one thing I can do very quickly is use an add-in tool here and click on space name and utility and update all of those with the new information that helps keep me in sync. And then ultimately when I schedule furniture, these space objects are native so casework will now know what the space name and number are, which are synced with the rooms in the other file. Uh, that, that means Revit MEP would function as an interior design firm's tool working with Revit. Uh, so what are the liabilities? Well, um, you don't have a site set of site tools, so that's probably not a big deal for an interior firm or e equipment company, but uh, the structural tool set is also missing from Revit MEP. And so beams and columns might be something that an interior folk, uh, person might be interested in modeling, at least conceptually. Uh, but hopefully those same elements would ultimately be in a structural model that they could link in, so it might not be that big a liability there either. Anyway, um, strange workaround. Uh, I can almost hear the conversation now with your uh, managing partners or whatever trying to explain why you want to buy Revit MEP to do interiors work. Um, <laughs> so maybe it's not really a viable solution at all, but... Um, might be worth considering if you're really faced with a situation routinely. Uh, in the meantime, one could argue that it might be a good argument to say, gosh, it'd be great if spaces were extended to Revit Architecture or there was some sort of mutual uh, recognition of rooms so that we could have the same kind of room creation based on rooms in another linked file and then help keep them synchronized. Uh, thus, maybe a copy monitor concept for rooms, just recognizing the different kinds of workflows and the different firms that are working together today and trying to do it all within Revit somehow. Anyway, enough out of me. Thanks.